Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is JJ and JJ's PC Builds. Oh my god, I gotta get the microphone next to me. Let's go ahead and move it next to me and move this keyboard out of the way. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. And also, too, I want to thank you for all that have subscribed. Thank you and welcome to the family. Welcome to JJ's PC Built and my veteran subscribers. As always, it's much appreciated. Much love to you for all the love and support watching the videos and telling your friends, family, and everything else to come on down and subscribe right here to JJ's PC Builds. Don't forget, if you like the videos, make sure you put a thumbs up because if you don't, uh, seems YouTube won't put us out there so if you can it would be appreciated put a thumbs up okay today today what we're gonna be doing is make sure you got your drinks and get your snacks with you cuz it'll be a little bit interesting for your J fest so this is the morning time just to let you know here where we're at so do enjoy your J fest but anyway Let's go ahead and just jump right into it. I'm not going to make this a long video, but this is going to be, I told y'all I'm going to go with the, the June polls so I can catch up to July. So what I did was I took six polls that I, that I felt that were really good for June and we're going to show it here on July. So when I get ready to you know I'm gonna jump forward and then when August starts I'm gonna start doing the polls again so look around for August for me to start doing the polls again because I gotta catch everything back up just the way it's supposed to be you know how July 4th holidays have been so here we go alright we're gonna get to it the first poll that I'm gonna do with you all is the first you know is one that I recently asked you all this question I asked you all this question alright let's hopefully I get everything in spec let's hopefully I get everything in spec uh, sorry about this seems like it's not cooperating this morning Oh, well, that's good enough. Screw it. <laughs> okay. Now, I asked you all this question. My videos, how long should they be? And you all voted 10 minutes at 33%. Even though I got three votes, I'm still, I'll still watch and make sure if you still want to vote, you can still get in there and vote. And I'll touch back up again in August to see what you all think you know your 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 uh, opinions are well appreciated here on the channel I appreciate them 100 percent so I do take them into consideration especially when you know you you get on the videos and you say hey can you make them a little bit shorter we're gonna do that we're gonna work on making them shorter but it looks like you know from three votes it says 20 minutes okay 67 percent of y'all said 20 minutes and you know what I do appreciate y'all saying that you know and that gives me that helps me you know mold the channel just the way you know not so much the way the, sub, the subscribers does it's both I want y'all to be happy and I want to be happy too so you know that's why I leave those valued opinions out there so that way you know y'all can tell me hey you know maybe you want to try this or this or this you know that really does help the channel when you know you participate and you support and everything else you know it's appreciated I mean you guys are helping me mold the channel just the way you know you're making me happy you're making yourself happy you're you're being proactive that is the best thing in the world to be proactive so with you being pro so proactive let me know that hey you know it'd be better to do this I'm gonna take it into consideration believe it or not I'm gonna take it into consideration so you know 
I did get some opinions from y'all, and I do appreciate every opinion, believe it or not. And we're going to try something today. Since you all voted on 20 minutes, so we're going to try to make the video less than 20 minutes. So let's move on to the one poll here. We're just going to flip them up. I'm not going to take and paste them to the video. This is all one video. It's just going to be raw, unedited, put right to the fact, and here we go. I asked y'all, which brand of graphics cards do you prefer for gaming? Okay, now 14 of you said NVIDIA 71%. Now, others said AMD 29%, but I didn't really get no comments too much on this. I didn't really see any comments on this, really. So, but basically y'all are saying NVIDIA 71%. That's pretty awesome, just to let you know, for y'all to say that. That's pretty awesome. So, just letting you know, you know, this controversy with NVIDIA and stuff, you know, it'll blow over, so in time, things will change and everything else, and it'll go right back to, you know, it's just following the trend. That's pretty much what this is looking like. So, moving on. Going to poll number two. Okay, now I asked y'all, what is the primary factor you consider when purchasing a new graphics card? I asked you all this question because I really wanted to know. And you said price to performance. Okay, would you be surprised if I told you it was usage to performance? Basically for the length of time that you use the graphics card to how much the performance is. Might want to try that instead of trying the instant price itself. Because, you know, you got to balance it for the length of time you're going to be using the graphics card. So you got to factor that in too. So that way you know over the certain period of years how long you're going to be using it. So keep that in mind when you, when you go to factor all this in. So, yeah, a lot of people said price to performance, 55%. 9% said VRAM capacity. Well, I guess VRAM capacity really isn't a big issue, even though that everybody's making it a big issue on the internet. I don't see why, because I'm getting only 9%. 11 of you have voted, 11 of you voted and told me this, so I'm taking your word for it. And, you know, truthfully, you're right. VRAM isn't everything when it comes to the graphics card. Brand and reputation and customer support, 9%. That is true. You know, keep that in mind. And you have other comments, you know. But with the other comments, you know, I heard a lot. And it's still coming back to the same thing. Price to performance. So, that's what it's coming back to. Just to let you know. And that's where it's at. So, price to performance wins this one. For sure. Alrighty, moving on to poll number three. I asked you, how important is ray tracing capability in a graphics card for you? Okay. I asked you all the essentials. You said 6%. Nice to have said 63%. And not important said 31%. So, but this is 16 votes. Just to let you know. Seems like everybody's more focused on ray tracing. Now, my opinion on ray tracing is this. Okay, I tried out ray tracing by itself, and I didn't like the, the drop in the FPS, and I didn't like too much about what was going on with ray tracing in some games. But other games, I love it. It's great, and don't get me wrong. Okay, I'm not a shell for ray tracing, but I'm used to raw horsepower. Basically, what the graphics card will do without all the BS in the background. All those little caveats. And I want to see what the graphics card does itself without anything. You know, I want to see the true power of this graphics card. If this graphics card is good enough to show me great horsepower without the DLSS and all the, all the little eye candy tricks, then you know you've got a great graphics card. And I, believe it or not, I got an RTX 4070 and I turned off all the eye candy and believe it or not, raw horsepower, it runs awesome. I mean, 
Even on Second Life, it gives me 183 in a club with 50 avatars. And with 50 avatars in one place on one region, it's going to lag like crazy. But I was still at 183 FPS. Now, that anything over 60 is awesome. So, just to let you know. But, yeah, ray tracing sometimes with some games ain't everything. Just remember that. Some games it is, some games it's not. But the games that do require it, then, you know, that's a different story. So, but the ones that don't, then, you know, it's, it's, how, you, it's how it's set up. It's how each game is set up, just to let you know that. So, moving on to poll number four. We're at poll number four right now. I asked you, which motherboard vendor do you choose? You all said, guess what? 43% ASUS. And this is 14 votes. Okay, now, you all said 29% of MSI, 14% of Gigabyte, and you said your other comments, you were happy pretty much with what you had. Now, it seems like it's still swinging towards ASUS, even though ASUS has got their little problems they had in the past. Y'all need to wake up and realize something. ASUS is not a bad company. Do not be a ASUS hater just because they say one comment. I've seen many a comments come from different manufacturers, and, you know, nobody said nothing about them. It's just everybody's like sound and nailed to asus stop it it's it's kiddish it's two-year-old-ish you know asus is a great company i got an asus graphics card i got three asus motherboards okay and i'm going to tell you something not one lick of problem not one so y'all stop with the hating and you know show the love to these companies that are working their hearts hearts out for you even though they make stupid mistakes just look past that a little bit and have a little bit of heart for them because they do put out great products and they try to put it out at the lowest prices they can get you got to remember the ones that are controlling the prices is AMD and Nvidia when it comes to a graphics card and Intel when it comes for a graphics card they control the prices not the board vendors you know the the board partners okay now you can't hate on the board partners because of what those three companies are doing they control the prices just remember that keep that in mind so moving on down the road we're gonna go to number five last but not least last poll but I'm going to spend at least a couple minutes on the last poll because I feel it's warranted. Okay, it says, are you ready for the NVIDIA RTX 4060 coming out on the 29th of June? And 9% said yes, but, you know, out of 11 votes, 91% said no. And I'm like... That's telling me that, you know, NVIDIA, you, you do run some great graphics cards. But when it comes to the price, okay, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main screen since we already seen this. And we're going to talk a little bit about the 4060 lineup, the 4060 and the 4060 Ti lineup for a couple minutes. So let's go ahead and go back to the main screen. All right, now this is this is the deal. This I'm going to get this point out. Okay, Nvidia, your 4060 and your 4060 Ti, the eight gigabyte and the 16 gigabyte are overpriced. People can run out and go over there to the AMD side and go get an RX 6600 for way cheaper to do gaming understand the 6600 will game okay not as great as on these tip-top games but it will game 
Some people don't run those tip-top games because they don't want to pay 50, 60, 70 bucks for the subscription to them. Now understand that. You know, that's where they're going to, you know, the, some of these Steam games are going to lose because they overprice the games, which, you know, some of them are running like crap. You know, don't, Steam, don't get me wrong. I'm just telling you the truth. And this is what I hear from other people that, you know, some of, some of those games that those, those game makers make are not coming out like they're supposed to be when people are playing games. Now, I hear this in my ear from, you know, maybe a thousand or two, you know, off to the side that send me emails and everything else telling me about the games and everything else. I can tell you, I added them all up, and it comes to, like, some of those tip-top games. You know, people are pretty much mad about the fact that, you know, you're overpricing overpricing some of those games you need to come down in the price inflation might have went up but people's pocketbooks went down so you got to realize that too and when it comes to making games and graphics cards and motherboards and all that stuff you have to understand when inflation goes up guess what comes down what goes in your pocket so if what goes in your pocket goes down guess what you got no money to spend guess what now now you're not selling graphics cards now you're not selling motherboards and so on but the 4060 and the 4060 ti are way overpriced even the 4070 was kind of overpriced for me but the reason why i got it because i got it on a good sale I got it on a sweet sale that brought the price down just as much as the 4060 Ti 16 gigabytes. So when I hit that sale, it was perfect and I got on it. So I got it for almost the same price, pretty close, within a couple bucks of, of the 4060 Ti 16 gigabytes. So for 27% more performance off of the 4070 compared to the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte and 8 gigabyte, guess what? What am I going with? I went with the 4070. And that's before the 4060 Ti even come out. I got it before the 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte came out. Even before the 4060. But you know what? I'm not kicking myself in the foot. I'm not kicking myself in the foot whatsoever. Because I made a great choice when I got it in the beginning because I knew it was going to be a better buy. And in the long run, I was right. It was a better buy. Performance-wise, I can't complain. It does great performance. Okay. But 4060... The 4060 Ti, those are good starter cards. That's if somebody's building a system from scratch for the first time. You know, those those would be okay cards for them. But people that, that's been in the business for a long time, they're going to look at it and they're going to say, you know what, no, have a nice day. Prices are too high. You know, so basically, knock off $100 for the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte the 4060 ti 8 gigabyte and the 4060 knock them all down a hundred bucks guarantee if you knock them down a hundred bucks people are going to look at you a little bit differently and say oh yeah i guess he they took off a hundred bucks of each one of those so i guess they're trying to make a statement you make a good statement if you knock a hundred bucks off of each but anyway now we're getting down to the time and we're getting close to 20 minutes so i'm going to keep it at 20 minutes close to it it might be 21 or 22 don't quote me on that but we'll keep it within the realm but if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe it would be much appreciated as well as thumbs up give me some positive thumbs up would be appreciated as well and thank you for subscribing all my new subscribers, thank you and welcome to the family. And my veteran subscribers, as always, much love to you and thank you so much for all you do. Okay. Now, until the next time and the next video, this is JJ on JJ's PC Builds. We will see you on the next one.